time to load up this trailer. This trailer. I'll fill it just above the water line. It's three cubic meters. I think there's more, either four or even more in that wood pile. But I'm going to uh, see what I can get in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out because of the the road conditions are so bad. But um, bottom line is. We need this clearing. Um, I'm going to be excavating back into this hillside, so I need these wood piles cleared now. Once they're cleared, that will make it easier to drag down the trees that have felled as well. So, well, let's get this thing loaded. So you get to see in this camera angle just how far away the wood pile is from where I can get the trailer. That's a, that's a big throw that, and when you're doing it hundreds of times with all this wood. Not only do you miss a few, but uh, it certainly is hard work. But I won't uh, I won't go putting any, any wood stores up as high as this in future. I'll try and keep them all sort of at ground level, just to keep things a little bit easier. Making firewood's hard enough as it is. Don't need to make it any harder. Get in there. I've got to get this up, uh, up the access road, which is pretty wet and slippery, so I might not fill it anymore. Well, that'll be that'll be three three cubic meters there. Do a bit of a tidy up and get the get the back on. Reckoning that wood pile would have been six cubic meters. Definitely three in there, and there uh, must be halfway through that. So six cubic meters in one of those wood piles. Right, I'm just going to stick a tarpaulin on this and stick a cargo net on the top. Because again, I'm just going to take this up to the top of the hill and, and leave it there, and I'll take it home another weekend when I've used some of the firewood I've still got at home. And I'd better put the lid back on that keep the rest of that dry because it's, uh, it's actually in great condition super dry firewood mm -hmm. 